All right, guys, today we're driving a modified GR86. It's a 2022. I'm here with the owner, Dean. You're gonna walk me around this because you've done a lot of cool cosmetic yeah. and some mechanical mods to this car. We've got the six-speed auto and of course the 2.4 liter FA24. Uh, we're out in the canyons today filming a bunch of different cars and decided to opt for this car instead of filming that one because we'll probably get one of those back home, but this looks a lot more exciting. So let's start on the outside. You haven't done too much different on the inside. Yep. Uh, pretty stock in here, but outside we've got some fun stuff happening. Wow, I love the carbon wing. That is beautiful. It's like an art piece. Yeah. So let's start with the mechanical mods. So I have for suspension, I have HKS Hypermax S. Okay, cool. Um, I have wider tires and wheels, 18 by nine and a half MK TS5s. So okay. 45, 35 squared. Yeah, right nice down. meaty Pilot Sport all season fours. That's a great tire. It's so much fun. Yep. Um, I have a Canon intake. Okay. Uh, and then for exhaust, I have an HKS Legamax Premium uh, with a stock Fresnier mid pipe delete. Sweet. Um, it sounds good. I've heard it running through the canyons all day today. And yeah. Intake, exhaust, like it's a nice balance from outside the car. I'm excited to hear it from inside. Haven't driven this yet. Tell me about the wrap. So the wrap, I got a partial sponsorship from Osaka Outlaw. Okay. Um, when I got this wrap at the time, I'm the f I was the first uh, Itasha second gen in California. Um, it's based off of Good Smile Racing, um, like the lines and everything else. Yeah. Uh, M8's based off of this 86, so it's an 86 H6. Cool. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, it's it looks great. It looks so killer. Squared. Yeah. Sweet. And then this wing. What is this? So this is an after style wing, uh, carbon fiber, um, swan neck. Yeah. Adjustable. Pretty, pretty stiffly mounted on here. Yeah. Cool. Uh, drilled in. Drilled in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I guess you need a little bit of extra reinforcement. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. And then the arrow bits look amazing. I have a full infamous arrow kit. Okay. Uh, I got partial sponsorship with them as well. Sweet. Um, so yeah, front splitter, uh, skirts and rear diffuser, all from them. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. Cool. Think. Let's go drive. I like kind of the blacked out mid, mid part and the tails. Yeah. That looks sharp. There's your Instagram. Sounds great. Cool. We might have to go uh, windows down just a little bit yep. so we can hear. Exhaust is pretty loud inside anyways. Yeah, yeah. All right, AC, a little bit of that for cooling so we're not super miserable. Okay, off we go. Take this at a very, you think it'll make this? Yeah, my crease yeah. is okay. surprisingly really good. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right. Automatic drive modes. Let's see. What do we want? Track? Sport? So we have sport mode. Okay. Which is more aggressive shifting and everything else. Yep. Um, there is quote unquote track mode. We always have the manual mode. And then we have full track mode, but you need a complete stop to do that. Okay. Let's go track mode. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, we get the different gauge cluster. Track mode's all traction control off. Sensors will still be on because it's not full track mode on. Sure. Okay. Um, full track mode, you just hold down the track control button seconds no need to pedal dance anymore yep that's right full off yep i used to do the pedal dance all the time in my 2014 vrz and it's nice you don't have to do it anymore oh suspension feels great mm -hmm. really compliant nice and flat great little canyon car man <laughs> bringing this out to the track tomorrow so might get a drive in this we'll yep. see ah oh, the intake and exhaust are perfect from what I've heard this is pretty reserved yeah for, uh, exhaust it's only pretty loud under load sure anything under like 4,000 rpm is pretty much quiet The new GR86, the new FA24, the automatic is no longer slow. 
It actually works pretty well. Gearing is actually really nice for the canyons. Yeah. It's taller than the gearing in the manual car, but it works. Brakes? Oh, I forgot. I have stock tech uh, sports. Cool. Brake pads. They feel good. I just installed them yesterday, so that's why I'm forgetting them. Nice. Okay. So you'll get them vetted in tomorrow. Yep. I sold the stock pads on my BRZ and they are terrible. Yes. They're notorious for only lasting one track day and then completely shot afterwards. Yeah. Uh, this is such a great platform. It's so hard to beat this driving experience. Even with like the 987 Cayman that we drove today, the S2000, like this just is, it's so much fun. It's so easy to drive. And I've given the automatic a hard time in past videos, but with a few little mods, it's fun. And in the canyons, this feels great. It's a super strong transmission. It shifts quickly. And if you live in an area like LA with a bunch of traffic, you probably don't want a manual. Awesome. Let's go back up the hill. BRZ is just a bit more fun on a lower grip tire and it doesn't really get much better than the Pilot Sport All Season 4s. They're good in the rain, they're comfortable, they're not as loud. They get a little greasy on track and wear out pretty quickly when they get hot, but otherwise it's a really solid compound. Sounds like you've disabled the fake engine sound. You yep, unplugged that. It's the first thing I did in my BRZ. Great mod. Everything you've done here has improved the driving experience. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. It looks like something straight out of Forza with the wrap. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that was kind of the inspo. Yeah. It's like, I played all these video games, I put a Tasha wraps on it. Yep. I was like, wait, I can do that in my car. Yep, real life. <laughs> It's still surreal looking at my car, being like, wait, I'm not in the video game. This is actually my actual car I drive every day. Crazy walking up to it. Yeah. That's when you know you got a good car. <laughs> well, this is good. Now we've got kind of 
opposites on the channel because I've lifted and safaried my BRZ, which is the complete opposite of this car. And I've driven some modified lowered G86s in the past and mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it works out well, sometimes it doesn't. Suspension is always kind of, you know, let's get you in kind of a rut here. So there we go. Suspension kind of depends, but I think you've done some good modifications here. The exhaust intake sound awesome. Yeah. And it looks just so bonkers. <laughs> I love it. Cool, man. Well, hey, thanks again. Appreciate you bringing it out. We'll mm -hmm. see you tomorrow at the track. Yep. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys later. Take care. One thing, we should probably pop the hood, take a look at the engine bay. I didn't know you had the, the lifted. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, been, like full rally everything, right? I've been rally crossing it. It's so much fun. But, you know, in Michigan with driveway approach angles and winners it just makes sense you're pretty so. famous on the 86 display. you're a you're a verb now really i, I kid you not what? everyone's saying oh, i like tofered my car <laughs> but like all seasons are like they're steelies for the, for the uh, like, oh i tofered my car oh my gosh that's funny that's really funny